insert in linked list. Insertion in a linked list, it is the process of adding a new element into a linked list. So let us say you have some linked list that is already existing and you want to add a new element to this. How do you add a new element? This is the process of insertion. What are the sub cases in insertion? First thing is that if you want to insert at the beginning of the list. Second one is if you are inserting at the end of the list and the third one if you are inserting at some specific position in the list. These are the three sub cases that we have to learn. Let us see the first sub case. What if you are adding at the beginning of the list? So if you are adding at the beginning, that's the first case beginning. The first step whenever you want to insert wherever it be, the first step is always to create a new node. This node should have the data that is to be input newly. Let us say there is an existing linked list. This is your existing linked list. This is having let's say different values. This is 101, this is 50, this is 22. This is your existing linked list. So what will your linked list have? Nodes. Each node will have a pointer to the next and there will be a head pointer which always points to the first node in the list. This is how your linked list is. Let's say you want to add a new value 21. So 21 is the new value. This is your new node. What do you want to add? You're adding at the beginning. So adding at beginning is the easiest one. That is once you create a new node, set this new node's next pointer to the present head. So that is what is the present head? Present head is the first node. That is the node having value 101. So because you want to add at the beginning, the next point, pointer of this node should point to whatever is presently first because that should become the second element in the list. So what will you do? You will keep the new pointer that is your new node which is having value 21 here and the next pointer of this will be made to point the previous first node. So this is how your next pointer will be. The next thing, very important thing is do not forget to remain your head pointer to change your head pointer. Presently, it is in the node which was previously first. That is now the second node. So your head pointer should be changed to the new first node. This is how you add a new element at the beginning of a linked list. So two major steps. One is to change the next pointer of newly formed node to that of the previous first node. Second step is to change the head pointer to the newly formed node. This is how you add at the beginning of a linked list. Okay. So, so let us see the time and space complexity. Time will be order of one because it's a constant operation. You are just adding it at the beginning. And what about the space? It's again order of one because you are not using any extra space other than the new node. So this is not counted because for the new node, you anyway have to use the space. So you are not using any extra space other than the space for the new node. So space complexity is order of one. What is the second case? Second case is addition at the end of a list. Let us say you have a list link list and you are going to add at the end of the list. So if you are adding at the end of the list, first thing you have to uh, keep in mind is always create a new node. This is the first step. Let's say similar to the previous one, there is a node with value 21, which you want to add. First thing you have to say is if the list is empty, how do you know if the list is empty? Generally, there will be a head pointer, which is pointing to the first node in the list. But if the list is empty, your head pointer will be null. So this head pointer won't be pointing anywhere. It will have the value null. If it is null, that means your list is empty. So inserting at the end just means inserting, uh, changing the head pointer to this node because there is nothing previously in the list. This is your first element. If that's not the case, let us say you have already have a list. A list is having these elements. Let us say 11, 8, 5 and you want to add 21 at the end of this list. That is here you want to add 21. How do you add this? You already have this linked list. You have a head pointer. So as always, you start from the head pointer. You traverse through the list till you reach the last node. How do you know you reach the last node? Because the next pointer will be null. Generally, all other nodes will have a next pointer, which will point to the next node in the list. But 
the last node in the list that is this node will have a null as next pointer because there is nothing uh, more to point in the next so the next pointer will be null so start traversing from the head move to the next one then move to the next one and this is your search pointer like like searching not searching traversing so you're traversing and when you reach the last one here you will add the new one that is 21 what is the step for addition the next pointer of your last node should be pointing to the new node this is the only step you have to do so if you are adding at the end two things one is traverse till the end in order to reach the last node once you reach the last node that is the node uh, last node means at that point it was five the node which is having a null pointer when you reach that node what should you do you should change that null pointer instead make that point to the newly formed node which is having value 21 this is how you add a new element at the end of a linked list so uh, one more thing uh, let's say the time and space complexity time complexity is order of n why is it order of n because in worst case not worst case in all cases you have to travel till the end so in that case it is order of n and what about space space is order of one because you're not using any extra space other than what you're using to create a new node that's any way required so space is constant order of one let's see the third case so in insertion the only complex case is this third case which is insertion at a specific position if you want to insert a new node at some specific position this is the only case in which you should be slightly vigilant you should see what all other changes you are making okay let us understand this very clearly if you understood this then you clearly understood insertion in a linked list okay let us say these are the nodes in the linked list and let us give some value 27 18 31 44 let's say these are the values in linked list and these are linked first is linked to the second second is linked to the third and third is linked to the fourth and this is your head pointer let us say you want to add a new value let's say your new value is uh, 19 okay you want to add this node new node so initially you formed a new node with value 19 let us say you want to add this after 18 so special position can be in two ways one is let us say you are saying you want to add it after some particular value otherwise you may say that i want to add it some particular index so if you are saying that you want to add it some particular index or let's say you want to add it position 3 so considering index starting from 1 you want to add it position 3 so presently at position 3 it is having value 31 if you want to add this at position 3 what will happen this will become fourth and this will become fifth so in that case you have to be careful that initially uh, one case is if you are adding at the beginning so we are that is if you want to add at position number one that you have to treat as a case in which you simply have to check the head so same as what we did in the addition in the beginning case you check the head then you move the pointer of 19 to this uh, 19 to first node and then you change the head node to point to newly formed node that is 19 okay that's how you do if it, if the insertion position is position number one but what if the insertion position is something else let us say you want to insert at position number three in order to do this let us say this is your node with value 19 you have to add at position number three this is where you want to add you have to traverse the node and reach till one position before your actual position so this is very important don't traverse till the position three traverse one position less that is go till second position so you went to the first position which is 27 from the you understood the pointer to the next node you reach the second position which is having value 18 and stop there do not go to the third position once you stop at the second position you have this new node which is having value 19 let us say it is here the first step you have to do is check what is the next pointer of the press node in the second position that is you you went to the node which is one step before the position you want to insert then you see what is the next pointer whatever be the node that is being point that is pointing that is whatever is the node pointed by the second pointer check that and make your new new node point to that this is your first step your new node should point to the next pointer of the second node so 
now your new node is pointing to the third node that is previously third node you want to make 19 as the third node that is your main aim and the next step is to remove the next pointer of the second node and make it point to your new node so this is how you added the third position keep in mind the order of operations that i told this is very important because let us say you didn't follow the order first thing you have to do is to make 19 point to the next and then you should make 18 point to 19 if you don't follow this order i'll show you what will happen let us say 18 is pointing to 31 okay so instead of making 19 point to 31 first you decided that first you will make the second node point to the new node that is 18 you are making it pointing to 19 now the problem is you have no way of adding this pointer because at this point you don't know what is your previous third node because in linked list do not imagine it like an array that is even if we generally draw a linked list next to next never imagine it like you like this this is the greatest mistake you can make if you imagine like it is in contiguous location you would think okay you are in third position if you, i want to know the fourth i just have to move forward that is not the case in case of linked list actually these nodes are distributed here and there in memory one node may be here one may be here one may be here and you are linking these in order okay that is how you are having a linked list so once you lose this link that is 18 has a next pointer which was pointing to 31 once you lose this link you have no way of going back to this and identifying the position of 31 the chain from this point is lost forever so never make this mistake while dealing with linked list always make sure that whenever you are modifying any pointer if you need that link or the next node to be known always keep it safe keep the keep the information of the next node address somewhere so that is why i am telling you before you modify this pointer to point to 19 before you do that you should first make 19 point to 31 this would mean your link is maintained to the node which is having value 31 now you are safe to remove this pointer because still you have 19 pointing to 31 and make this point to 19 so this is how you insert at some particular position in a linked list okay so here what is the time complexity time complexity is in worst case you may have to add it to the last position in that case you have to go till the n minus 1th node which means time complexity will become order of n and what about the space complexity again you're not adding any extra space here that is other than the space that you're using for the new node you're not using any extra space so space complexity is order of one 